Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Guys, of right, get the left KMT. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we've conquered most of the south. Um, in about five more days, we're going to be going to War with Hunan. It doesn't seem like they have that many men, so I'm not too worried about the war lasting too long. I think we can really just victory point rush them and, and basically have no real issues. Also, turn off fog and war because, again, it looks bad. So, I mean, I'm seeing, like, we just march here, take your capital, we go our way to Changdi. Probably can get our way to Hangyang as well. But after that, okay, we're now at War Hunan. Where do we go after this? So right now we're getting independence from Beijing. Allows us to go down um, more of our tree here. Could we go for a war against Sichuan and Yunnan. 15 to 39. I think maybe a war against Yunnan wouldn't be too, too bad. Or repair the Northern Expedition. But I don't think there's a good reason for us to prepare the Northern Expedition until we're actually... At least until fighting government in the Qing are at war. Once they're at war, we can think about moving uh, some troops in the area. But I think for now, we should be more or less fine. So what I'm going to do? Hey, I'm just going to victory point rush all these lands. And I honestly think that should be more than okay enough just to win this war. I bet you can actually probably win this war without taking a single casualty. If we do things properly here. Okay, that's like all of their victory points. I believe these are all their troops. Okay, they are uh, fighting us a little bit, which, you know, fair enough. So we're going to take a handful of casualties. Like, we've lost... Okay, we've actually have not lost any anyone yet. Question is, you are worth 10, you're worth 5, you are worth 1. So if that's the case... Hold position for a second. So, okay, we still have not lost anybody. I want you to go here as quickly as possible. Secure this front where we can. How many political power do we need for this? 80? Okay, unfortunately, they're not going to make it super easy to capitulate them. So we're actually are going to at least fight a handful of people, unfortunately. But again, bring our forces up north. Old position, yeah. They're going to defend the capital, which is going to lead to a handful of casualties, but I mean, we've lost 56 people so far, right? That's not really anything to write home about. If you fight a whole war and you lose 56 people, eh, even if you lose, I, I think that's still okay. Of course, we're not going to lose. But, you know, there's a hypothetical situation, but I will go for radio. Give me the reinforcement rate. I want to move my way up here. Maybe get us around on a handful of units. And I would like to cross the river. I do see that you're moving some units in this area. Which is a little annoying. Why well, don't you move over to this province? Why don't you go down here to get the encirclement? If you give us political power, we're going to give us stability. All of those, I think, are quite nice. Max is going to have uses in this attack in the south. The encirclement, it, it does look like it's going to be a little bit less impressive than I originally anticipated it to be. Okay, we, we got one guy encircled. And we've lost 300 people. But again, even, even then, 300 is not that bad. Not any reason to keep fighting them over there. Actually, yes, there is. If we could get you encircled... Which we might be able to get done? I, I can't really quite say yet. Okay, we have at least research trucks. We do need trucks so we can actually supply our units. Uh, I'll take the 38 upgrades. Yeah, we do need motorized. There's really no doubt about that. Motorized are unsurprisingly a little bit important here. I'm going to have you go around and again cut off you from the capital. Yeah, we are going to need to take all your cities, unfortunately. But, I, I mean, it's okay. Okay, Gandhi's taking power in the Bahari Commune. Send troops up north. Yeah, and again, if we can just get there to circumvent on the capital, which we're not going to do because it's freaking cavalry division. 
Yeah, we still haven't we still haven't lost that many men. Again, we have a lot of manpower as well. I'm really more worried about the equipment. Also, what I can do. Um, not that. That that is not what I want to do. Um, what I can do. I'm just gonna shrink this front line. Because in good old Hoi 4 fashion, we can just have the AI move their way down south, leaving them exposed. Again, if you want to take these juicy provinces, I will not stop you. Got two more days until your cord gonna get us more factories and manpower. So many move units. I, I don't know how many units will actually move their way down south. How many guns do we have? We want 1,000, not enough to really build anything right now, unfortunately. I guess we'll try to push our way through here. I don't like it. Okay, so we cannot reclaim the, the Republic yet. Faster integration, your industry bonuses. An extra research slot would be nice. And a civilian factory. Diplomacy. Let's at least prepare the second expedition. I don't, again, I don't know when you guys will go to war. But if we can just have the threat of some sort of intervention that could uh, benefit us in the long run for sure. And again, yeah, you guys can just move your way down south. And I, I do not care. We can integrate you now. Absolutely, we'll do that. And with our political power, I mean, we could go to Limited. Limited literally has no downsides. We called on a political power. Um, I mean, we could go with the free trade or expert focus. Give us um, better research, better construction, better factory output. I mean, what are we actually producing right now? It's mostly tungsten. I mean, a little bit of steel. I think increasing our export would. Would we need to import steel? And is that worth getting rid of one of our civilian factories? It honestly might be. I also would love some aircraft, but right now that is uh, not in the cards. You are one of our cities. I don't really care about that. I mean, is there a reason to attack here and not just attack this city? I mean, you're gonna be attacking a river. Are you a mountain province? You're urban. Which isn't that bad. I mean, I could force attack. No, I cannot because I don't know command power. But if I could force attack, I would. I mean, you're gonna definitely cause us more casualties than I would like to take. And again, it's mostly for the material loss. The manpower loss, like 2.3 million. Like, the manpower loss is not an actual issue. And you're, yeah, you're not connected to the capital. We are trying to rectify that by building, build, build the railroads first, please, and thank you. Yeah, I don't like that you're here. I'm thinking, like, what if I shrink you even more? Like, what if I have it like this? Bring these units up and around, and again, I want, I want Hunan to take this land. I thought this would actually be a really easy war. It has taken a lot more than I originally anticipated. You've actually drawn up with the Reich's Pact. Okay. The Reich's Pact's going to be pretty powerful here now. Yeah, and I need to get supplies up here. We need to finish these railroads. Not having these connected to our capital, which... I mean, it says that it's Nanjing. But I'm pretty sure capital is actually Longyang down here. I don't know if there's a way for me to just go to capital. I mean, it says it's not Jing, but I don't. I don't think that's actually true. Because it says that Nanjing is not connected to the capital. I mean, if I can, like, if I can I mean, push our way up here. I mean, I think we might have actually extended the AI a little bit too much, and now they don't want to push either. We're really just, like, in a, uh... 
And a little bit of deadlock here. Yeah, because you're connected to capital. Supply hub. No connection from capital. And you don't have connection. I, it has to be from Long Yang. Like, I'm, I'm almost 100% that Long Yangs are actual capital. At least when it comes to supplies. I'm gonna try another push. We can see that you guys don't have a really... I'm assuming you don't have a, a, the equipment to... To fight this major war. Again, you are, I think, F4, yeah. The railroad that we're building right now, you are building... Yeah, put this one first. Cause I'm, I, I mean, I actually even know they're not connected along. Well, so, okay, set you two cavalry for now. Do you think that they would get it shipped up this way? But I all, I, I don't know. I might be just wrong. We could negotiate with Marshal Zhang. I don't, I don't know if that would succeed though, right? I'm assuming now we have. Uh, yeah, just attack the Qing. Well, we'll, we can, we'll do that again once they're at war with the Fenian government. I think any faster... I mean, how many troops does the Qing have? 13 to 43. You guys have been in north at 13 to 45. I, I really do think we have to wait. And once we can kill um, Hunan, moving our way to Wuchang... Jingzhou. There's a lot of cities down here that are going to be important. I know eventually, I think, yeah, you're going to be Wuhan. I believe once Beijing falls, this will combine into 140 victory point city. Which is going to be very important. Um, I, I don't like Hunan anymore. Again, I really thought we would just kind of steamroll them. I really thought we'd be able to get our victory point rushing to succeed, but it does not seem like it's going that way. I mean, we could, you know, push here. We'll move our way up around like this. I mean, it'll still cut the capital off from the southern army. Which I think is good. Also, this is F4. That's F5. I don't know my function keys, apparently. Yeah, and until you're connected to the capital, these units are going to suffer. And I'm very upset about that. We do need more guns, for sure. And I would like to improve the navy at least a little bit. Supply hub? Yes, yeah, that's not that important right now. Go back to construction. I mean, we do need all these railroads to be built, for sure. You know, also, it would be nice if we had an air force. But we really do not have the factory um, capabilities to make that work. We will go for another research upgrade. I mean, I'm, I do like Academic uh, Cynthia. Definitely not saying that right for getting an extra research slot, but. I mean, you also give us stability and war support. That gives me more factory output. And that's also pretty good. Your political power. You are. Unitary government. Recognized syndicalist unions. All China National Labor Syndicate. I mean, we'll, we'll probably go for the urban syndicalists. I mean, that's, that's kind of one of the things that our government did promise. Also, now you don't have any supplies. Which, okay, that's also, once again, the wrong button. Which I do know is a big issue um, with no step back. I mean, it's not really an issue. It's literally part of the... It's kind of the point. Is that supplies are, you know, more difficult to ascertain. Hey, look, supplies are fixed. Because this railroad is now built. So you're now connected to the capital. What is the cap? What is the supply capital? Supply hub. I actually don't know where it tells you where supply capital is. Connection from capital. Hong Zhao's and Nanchang. I actually don't know. Because it's not Nanjing. It said Nanjing, but Nanjing is not our capital. 
when it comes to supplies. I, I couldn't really tell you why that is. But it is clearly the case. Now, you guys should eventually start getting a little bit of supply issues. I know you have one city from us. Okay. You're not encircled. When we take this province, you will be encircled. Be fighting. For some reason, you're not considered fighting mobile combats. Again, that's just a hard fight four issue. I never really understand why. Sometimes it's considered multiple combat. Sometimes it's not. And again, 1,000 men. We really haven't taken that bad of a catch with these. Again, why are you not surrounded? You should be in... Okay, one unit's in circle. I'm assuming because these two guys were attacking prior to the encirclement. The game hasn't updated that for them. Again, we will worry about you afterwards. I mean, I guess I could... If I retreat out, it should then... Properly, yeah. Now, properly is going to apply the encirclement. And also, I mean, it's... Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, it's also properly applying multiple combats. Very happy to see. He's going to get a two thumbs up from me. Yeah, we also got radio. Again, we're in 37. We could... We probably should be taking the 37 industry tax. Not really a major question there. Also, you don't need to be attacking here. It really doesn't provide any actual benefit for us. I mean, 2,000, 19,000. I'm happy with those numbers. And that should... I did just see, like, a glowing thing right there, and I don't know what the hell that was. But anyway, take all states. Again, doubly thumbs up from me. Bye-bye, Hunan clique. We should have enough political power to integrate you immediately. Yes, we do. And then integrating you... We don't have, because obviously... We, that, that's in the Hunan clique. We're not, we are not the Hunan clique. So obviously we don't have that yet, but we will, we'll get it, we'll get it. Okay, but now Blue Army is in a sad state. Again, Western Expedition, now again, for Sichuan Hunan. The thing with them is that our borders are quite small, and these are very mountainous regions. Sichuan so, so democratic. What is Sichuan aligned? They're actually the leader of the Federalists. So yeah, I think Chen Ming will show up back here. Give enough time. The Lee aligned. Two of them are Republican aligned. Nobody's aligned with us, unfortunately, but we, we don't need them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna basically, let's say, right here. I, w I do really want to get another army going. You're 20 combat with. Where's my, like, 10 combat with? Um, I know I had them somewhere. I mean, we got 12. You know what? I'll take a 12. How many of these guys would you have? You've one of them. Honestly, give me ten. Again, I know we're missing rifles, and that rifle's gonna last for about a year. But that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Here's why it's not so bad, because it's probably gonna take a year, roughly, until um, these guys are at war. Maybe. Again, I, I can't say for certain. I do see that you're guaranteed by the uh, Shadon clique. But I mean, again, if uh, the Fanny government, they take Beijing, we push our way quickly into uh, Wuhan, that should actually be the Qing completely dead. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Like nine, like 120%. Maybe that's a little bit over, it's a little bit over, uh, it's a little bit much. Maybe not 120%, but it, it, it's still very good. Civilian, I would love construction speed. Infrastructure. Infrastructure is not railroads, right? I don't believe so. Infrastructure, I think, is... Your province. Are you infrastructure? No, you're infrastructure. They're technically, they're still two different things. I mean, if, if there was a railroad construction, I would. I think I might be tempted to take it. But for now, we're going to go CHF, uh, CFHI. Give me the factory construction speed for civilian military. But I do think with the fall of the Hunan clique, this will be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not to click thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.